Hey guys, welcome back to the AI Art Society YouTube channel, where my goal is to equip you with the tools to show you how to make the most stunning art possible using either DALI or in this case, Midjourney. Here's a couple of the pieces we made last time. You can check it out on at AI Art Society. It's just posted a couple minutes ago. Oh, beautiful images. If I do say so myself, <laughs> today we're going to be talking about image prompts. So what is an image prompt? We're going to generate an image based on the flavor of the first image. Notice I didn't say the outline or the image itself, but just the flavor of the first image. So to illustrate this, let's pick a really good image to start out with. Let's go back a couple exhibits. Back to the first exhibit, one of my favorite photos here, Event Horizon Lucifer. And if we try to just copy this link in here and say slash imagine and then drop it in there, it's not going to work. It's going to come back. it's not going to work. It's going to come back with an error saying invalid link. <laughs> I almost got surprised there. So what we're going to have to do is see the link up here. We're going to have to type in the words dash media question mark size equals L. And when we type that in beside our photo here, and hit enter, it'll give us the photo link. So then we can copy it, hop back into the discord, slash imagine, drop that big link in there. And then we get to color it with some, some of our own imagination. So let's do water, Droplets, 8K, engine, intricate, ultra realistic, sweet. And then last but not least, <clears throat> dash, dash, I'm going to do AR. This time I'm going to do three by one. If I'm remembering that correctly, that's going to be a nice vertical image. Let's check it out. And while that's loading, what I'm going to do is hop back to Instagram. Lucifer Merlin this one right here. So same image. However, it's a slightly different take on it. So let's hop into the notepad, copy what we need to copy to get the link that we need here. Copy that. Hop back into the discord slash imagine. Drop that link. Oh, wow, beautiful. And a so dash dash a r three. Acid Rain Paris. Copy 
copy the image link. Go back to Discord. Oh my gosh, it's already looking crazy. Slash imagine, drop the image prompt in there. Now this time we're gonna, we're gonna play around with this. We're gonna type in dash dash IW, let's say 0 0.2 and then just water droplets. Dash dash AR one by three. Make sure all is well there. Looks like it's perfect. That was our second creation of the water droplets. Oh my gosh, it's like a snail came to life. Holy, and this is like a watch exploded. Oh my gosh, some of these images are just unreal. Just for my own personal gain, I'm gonna go upscale three and four. I can't wait to see those beauties. Okay, ah, so what I'm gonna do here is slash imagine drop the prompt. Everything will be the exact same, but I'm going to put the image weight to 1.8. So I'm gonna put the image weight up quite a bit and start that process. We have a couple jobs with those upscales. Oh man, they're already turning out beautifully at 50%. Holy. If you have some tea or a drink in front of you, I encourage you to take it. That's it. I'm bringing this one to max. It might take some time, but you know what? I think it'll be worth it. Okay. If you appreciate the deeper voice, it's only because I have COVID right now. So uh, don't get too used to it. I normally sound like a chipmunk. Although I might sound like a chipmunk if my excitement grows any higher on this picture. That's already at 70% and it looks so crisp. Take notes, octane engine, intricate, ultra realistic. And a lot of the times it's just the aspect ratio too that adds that cinematic effect. Oh, ah, interesting. Okay, okay. So as you can see, when we cranked up the image weight, it, created a completely different image here. As you can see, it has that Eiffel Tower in the back. The colors are significantly different. The entire art style has changed just by changing the image weight. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. One last one before we, we hop off here. If you have the time, I definitely encourage a quick like on the video as we're a new channel here. A lot of people seem to be getting into AI art. And uh, if this can be the kind of the forefront that introduces people, how do I use these programs? I'd be happy to show you guys on a daily basis because I am learning just as much as you. All right, let's try. And I think the image weight of just one would be enough to add a, add a pretty decent effect to the photo itself. So I'm not gonna play around with the image weight this time.
All right, let's try one last one here. An explosion of fruits underwater, 8K with your higher aspect ratio. That's your vertical wallpaper. Let's see what it looks like. And remember, we're gonna use that Dubai filter we had on the Instagram. Now this was actually made in a different program. This is made in a program called DreamScope, where you put in an image like that and using kind of a similar technique where you throw in like um, a Salvador Dali or something like that. And it gives you the art style of Salvador Ali drawing this picture of Dubai. However, just last week, uh, I'd say two weeks ago, the program got shut down. There's like everyone's paying for it and the creator just went ghost. <laughs> All the services stopped working, you'd upload photos and just nothing would come back. And so that actually got me on to Mid Journey and um, I am so glad it did because as you can see, <laughs> It creates some pretty cool photos. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's not even done yet. I'm a big fan of the Octane Engine, Unreal Engine 5, 3D. Yeah, when it adds the lighting effects in those, it just looks remarkable. Yes. Comment below which one's your favorite, but I'm saying it's between one and two. I'm going to give it to number one it's because it has, uh, it's got some movement in it. So it is number two though. <laughs> That's honestly the hardest thing is when it gives you four photos, either you know right away or they just all look so amazing. It's hard to pick one. Yeah. So that has been it for the image upload. Remember, you're going to hop onto Instagram if you're going to be using it. You're going to type in those words. Pull them up for you real quick. Slash media question mark size equals L. And then you hit enter. That's going to pull up the necessary link that mid, mid journey needs in order to process the image. Then you're going to assign the weight to it by using dash dash IW that stands for image weight and then you do let's say like 1.7 if you want that 170% hostile takeover <laughs> or maybe like a 10 or 20% if you just kind of want to extract the colors of the art style this would be great if there's more of like an unknown artist some kind of an artist from like an old world day or maybe even a new artist where you just really love their style because a lot of the times you could say hey, draw the Mona Lisa by somebody else, by Michelangelo or something like that. Then it knows who those two are and it could clearly identify those. But if it's someone who only has a couple thousand followers on Instagram, but you love their art style, you could save the image, some image that you really like and say, what would it look like if this brand new artist were to paint one of my pictures? You upload your picture, you upload their picture, and then you write a little caption in there. It could, the possibilities are endless. And that's why everyone's going crazy for AI art right now. They're just unleashing their imagination on the program and seeing what it throws back at them. Yeah, anyway, if you guys liked the video, please consider dropping me a follow or a like on the video to see more like this. Other than that, have yourself a great day.